Hi YouTubers, it's Smoking at 77 Again, for the first time today, first video, only only video today. Today's video is, go is going to be another beer review, another alcohol review. Um, it's going to be Sam Adams Boston Lager, which is a very, very, very popular beer. As always, I'm not drinking in the videos, uh, just because I don't get an age restriction on my video. I know a lot of people have said that it's it's fine, but I don't want to risk it. But I do have partnership, so now a lot of people pointed out the uh, Budweiser. I did Budweiser regular and Budweiser light lime. They're not really real beers. I mean, they're beers, but they're not like true beers. So this is, I guess, my first real beer review. It's actually made of real beer ingredients. So Budweiser. I mean, I mean Sam Adams. Uh, Boston Lager. It's a lot stronger right off the bat, right off the bat than uh, a Budweiser. It is, um, I'm not sure if it's an ale, but it's, um, it's definitely a, a a beer. So, it's very rich, very dark. The color of the, of the beer, much darker than Budweiser. It's um, kind of almost earthy, the flavor of it. That kind of, sounds kind of weird. But it actually is kind of an earthy flavor. It mixes very, very well with uh, Latakia. Um, so if you're smoking Latakia pipe tobacco like Northwoods from Boswell's or whatever um, heavy Latakia blends like Billy Bud from Cornell and Deal or Old Ironside by Dan Tobacco, this, is, this probably mixes very well. On the other hand, Budweiser mixes very well with aromatics, especially the light lime. Uh, especially the light lime uh, makes it very well for rum flavored tobacco or uh, or other flavored tobacco. So I'd say the Boston Lager mixes well with um, pretty much uh, any English blend. Um, it's very rich, very heavy, very strong. Um, so if you're not used to, to drinking strong beers, um, it may be a little bit of a shock. I wouldn't say it's as strong. I would not say it's as strong as say a whiskey. Or um, our drink, uh, or scotch, or vodka, martini, anything like that. But um, I'd say it definitely has quite a bit of power to it. In terms of how buzzed it gets you, well, d again, it depends on how much you're drinking. If you're drinking, you know, the standard 16 ounce glass or 12 ounce glass of beer, or whatever, then it's not going to be overwhelming. But if you're drinking a couple of Budweiser, uh, I mean, of Sam Adams, I'm sorry. You you'll probably get pretty buzzed. So, but it's a good beer. I'd probably give it overall mm, for rating. I'd probably give it a nine out of ten. Not bad. A minus in my book. It's good. Has a lot more flavor than Budweiser. Has a lot more taste to it. And yeah, I mean I like Budweiser, but I know a lot of people don't. So anyway, uh, peace of advice. See you later and bye.